many of you had the fire? I know we're we're gonna we're kind of some of us might be 40 or older. It's fine. What do you do when you fire someone? What do you do? How do you guys like to do it? You guys like to butter them up and then cut them loose, or you just like to be a complete piece of shit? I want to know there's some children here. How would you fire someone? Would you be like, you're really nice and you're really cool, but you can't be here anymore? Because that's sort of what you're saying, right? In a way, like, hey, like, you might be like a really nice person, but you gotta go. Yeah, you gotta be nice somewhere. I think else. you should leave. Yeah. And that's the best way to tell someone that they're fired, right? Like, hey, man, like, you gotta go. I called you an Uber. I think you should leave. <laughs> uh, but that's not really how it works. Sometimes you gotta like. Anyway, that's why I know jujitsu. Anybody else like fuck around and know jujitsu? Anybody else spend uh, an exorbitant amount of time learning a martial art, or is that? Just Whoa, me. Okay, so. It's just with people who are white belts. It makes me feel better about myself. It's okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a brown belt Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. No clap, I didn't get the clap. It's taking me way too long to get my brown belt. That's not something to be proud of. Uh, consistency just means that you didn't show up when you should, and you have to sh keep showing up. But that's okay, that's kind of like sense of fail, is we won't stop showing up. We've been here 22 years. Years. I was telling someone earlier that the old, once the old masquerade area got nice, I was like, this is amazing. Like, I put my time in, I've been coming to Atlanta for so long, and now we got this sick venue in this sick area. And then we showed up here. Yeah. I've been coming to the underground here. Since there was the underground mall, my mom came here and did a play called 42nd Street at the Fox Theater. When I was in second grade and I lived here and it was the first time I had Chick-fil-A, which regardless of your political feelings, we can all admit that the chicken is good. And back then, I was young and I ate the fucking chicken. Okay? Yeah. I was stuck. Woo! My mom was here used to come to this fucking mall and it was sick. So when I heard that they moved in here, I was like, yo, this is going to be sick. The mall was sick and then we showed up and I was like, yo, this is like Robocop's headquarters. <laughs> You know the bad guy in Robocop? You know when Robocop got like shot? Yeah. And he, he, he kept shooting him in the dick? Yeah. And that's where we are. <laughs> One time our tour manager outside fell into a hole. Just a random hole. Do you remember that? I think it was Steve. No, it wasn't Steve. Steve's fine. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Uh, this is a rock fire. It's a punk rock fire. So I thank God that the masquerade never shut down and they moved. Because or else we wouldn't have a place to go. Because the last place we played was really weird. If anybody was yeah. on the show last time, we played like this indie rock club. Right that little court? Yeah. It was a very nice it was place. Very nice. I'm not sure I had any business being in that place. Yolo Tango and a bunch of other bands like that were playing there. So we need to play here with, uh, like, Fucking dying fetus. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is where we belong. I'm not saying we're not we're not gonna play with dying fetus. Can't swim. We need to play amongst, amongst shit as metal injection or something. Come on, man. They said that dying fetus repels 98% of humanity. Cold. And that is where I wanna be friends with those people. <laughs> Do you feel like you might repel 98% of humanity? So we have so Okay, so we've got two songs left. You don't have to clap, I don't need a response. It's more of a statement than anything. We're about to play a song that you will never hear again. I fucking guarantee you. I will never, ever play this song again. Not because I don't want to, but because you don't like it. I love it! Four of you in the audience. I love it! One, two, three, four. There's other people raising their hand, but they don't mean it. There's four of you that love this song. I love it! committed to you. I love you for showing up. I love you for loving this song. This is Mr. Irrelevant. Have you ever heard of Mr. Irrelevant? It's the last person picked in the draft. This is the song. This is for you. You'll never hear it again. You might go, you might go on to have a great career, but according to Spotify, it's a failure. But that's okay. Because we support failure. Okay, 
Yeah. This song is called Map the Street. 